Here's another mechanics question. So it's mainly about energy. Now we're told that we have a tennis ball. That's why I put this picture of this dog. Uh, we have a tennis ball and it's being dropped from rest from some height h. And we're told that every time it bounces, so in other words, it's gonna, it's gonna sort of fall down right here. And then after that, it's gonna, you know, bounce up. Okay. And half of its kinetic energy is lost to the surroundings every time it bounces. So in other words, 50% of it is lost. So let's figure out uh, then what is the height after um, the second bounce. It almost looks like half, to, I mean, what is h? What is the height after the second bounce? Well, it helps to be aware of the total energy, right? The energy total is equal to the kinetic plus the potential. So what ends up happening is if it loses half of its ek, half of its kinetic energy after each bounce, that means that it'll only have half of the amount of energy to give to the potential. And remember, potential contains a term mgh. So really what this means, this is the key thing, is that the height, you know, because it lost half of its kinetic energy, therefore the height uh, goes down by half as well. So this is, I think, the key thing um, sort of with each bounce. I think that is the key to solving this. So now all we have to do then is just look at this question and then break it down into different heights here. So if it start off as height one, after one bounce, right, this is, this is gonna be bounce number one. After bounce number one, what is its height then? Well, its height is h initially, so therefore it must be h over two. Now that's after the first bounce. Of course, then it, what does it do? It drops down and then it goes back up again. So after bounce number two, which is what they're asking for here, then what is its height? Hope you can see that the height then is half of that. So h over two over two. In other words, h over four. So that, believe it or not, that's all we needed to know. That the height is actually going to be h over four. So which is, uh, in this case, it's choice number, uh, well, it's choice B. The answer is just h over four. That's why we had it. Don't actually, not so bad.